Now, if you're a fan of the team, you will certainly recognize my next guest as the voice of the Blue Jays. Jerry Howarth is the play-by-play -play announcer for Blue Jays broadcasts on Sportsnet 590, The Fan. He joins me by phone from the Rogers Center where he is getting ready for this afternoon's game. Jerry, we talked last when I was hosting Cross Country Checkup. We talked about the Jays getting to the playoffs. The day is here. You've got one of the best seats in the house. I want to know how excited you are to call this game. Well, first of all, Suhanna, it's nice to be back with you again on the radio here. And it's also nice to look around the Rogers Center for two reasons. One, the roof is going to be closed the entire day. So that's going to contain the noise and make it even louder, if you can imagine <laughs> that. And second of all, in front of every seat is a white rally towel. So on television, you're going to see everybody waving those from the beginning to the end. It's going to be quite a few days here. How does this compare to 22 years ago, Jerry? Well, this is better from this standpoint. Those teams were expected to win. The crowds were expected to come out. It was a corporate crowd. They cheered, and they got up in the ninth inning and applauded, and they were happy with what they saw. This year's crowd, the, most of these young fans here, they don't remember 92 and 3. And so this is their team. They have hunger, passion. They're up from the very time uh, David Price, in this case, goes out to the bullpen to warm up. They're there in the first inning, third, fifth. They stand in the eighth and ninth innings. It's fun to watch. You know the players. You get to talk to them, and they've all you know, said the fans really pump them up. Is this going to make it an even better game because they're at home? Well, yes, because they're at home, and two, the roof is closed. And I remember at the Metrodome in Minnesota when the Twins won two World Series there, the noise was deafening. Now, from the floor to the Metrodome ceiling was 18 stories. This is 32. But the point is, this crowd, as loud as it is, will even be louder because of the dynamics here at the Rogers Center. In the Jays' dugout, because you get to see the game, you got one of the best seats in the house. Everybody's envious, Jerry. And I know, I know you got to pinch yourself sometimes and say, my goodness, I get paid to do this, but what fun. When you watch what's happening in the dugout, in the bullpen as well, is there a camaraderie that really you haven't seen in the past number of years? Ouch, I just pinched myself. Thanks a lot, <laughs> Suhanna. No, there is really a chemistry here and a connection that goes with this team. And remember, it all started when they were 50 and 51, and the first deal of a number by Alex Anthopoulos was to acquire Troy Tulowitzki and Latroy Hawkins from Colorado. From that point on, and adding David Price and all the rest of the parts, this team quickly connected together. Why? Because those who were here beforehand, Bautista, Encarnacion, et al., They've never been to the playoffs. And all of a sudden, they saw that opportunity. They got together. And winning makes that happen. Best record in the uh, major league since the All-Star break. Winning chemistry, connectedness. Now it's all set up to go. And this is a very important game. This is the key game for me in this entire best of three series, best out of five series. Why so? How so? Well, because you've got your ace on the mound. You're at home. You have three of the five possible home games and you've got your best out there. And for Texas, and remember, they were 50 and 52 as well, and they added Cole Hamels and others. They're very similar to the Blue Jays. This is going to be a knockdown, dragout series, and whoever wins this game for me gets the edge to winning it and moving on. Oh, it's going to be great in this city if they do win, and I've got my fingers crossed. I want to, you know, the Jays probably don't need a pep talk, Jerry, but do you think that perhaps Joe Carter is going to give them some? Well, that's the nice thing about this particular uh, playoff. Most of these players and the fans, they vaguely remember Joe Carter, and they, <laughs> they remember what he did walking off the home run, but that was 22 years ago. And what I like about this edition, this is their moment, their time for the fans themselves. And that history, that's not going to enter into what they're trying to do. You have a ton of fun with this. I know you will, and we'll all be listening and watching and playing it with you. Thank you, Jerry. Well, you're more than welcome. And with uh, Marcus... Strowman's father Earl coming up, I can tell you're down to a short list with the two of us. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Thanks, Suhanna. Bye-bye. Bye. Jerry Howarth is the voice of the Blue Jays. He's a play-by-play -play announcer on Sportsnet 590, The Fan.